Hi, everybody. Welcome to Writer's Workshop today. Um, yesterday, when we were thinking about informational topics, things that we are experts at, right? We started to think about what are some of the things that I know a lot about, a lot about. And Mrs. Thorsby decided that one of the things that I know a lot about is dogs. And one of the reasons that I know a lot about dogs is that I've had dogs since I was a little girl all the way up until now when I'm a grown up. Right now I have Koa and Kehlani, as many of you know, who are Lanko Akitas. And I've had lots of different dogs throughout my life. And my family has also had dogs even ever since I moved out and I visit with them all the time. So I do know a lot about dogs. So I decided that my topic that I want to write about, I had dogs and I had teaching and I had wedding planning as things I knew a lot about that I might wanna teach someone about. And I decided to go with dogs. So today you can see my screen. I have something to help me organize my thinking. It's called um, boxes and bullets and it's like an organizational planner. So it helps me to take all the stuff going on in my brain and organize it into categories or what we call subtopics in writing, okay? So if I look at the top here, dogs. Dogs is my big topic, right? That's my big topic. Now, when I read an informational book, oftentimes when I open it up and I get inside, I start finding smaller topics about the big topic, right? Like yesterday we were looking at that book about cheetahs and we were previewing it. And what we noticed was inside there were things about like what cheetahs eat, how cheetahs bodies move, um, where cheetahs live. Those are called subtopics. So today I'm going to develop some subtopics for dogs. Okay, and I'm gonna have you watch as I do this mini lesson, thinking about what are some subtopics I know about dogs and how are you going to write subtopics about your big idea, okay? All right, so when I'm thinking about dogs and I'm thinking about how can I break this down into small parts? One thing I think about is dog breeds. I'm gonna take off the underline, I don't need that. Dog breeds. Now, in case you don't know, a breed is like a type of dog. Dogs have like, different families. You know how dogs look different? So one breed is the Akita, and I'm going to write that one because that's what my dogs are. Another breed is a Lab. I bet lots of you have seen Labs before. There's yellow Labs and brown Labs and black Labs. And another dog that I love is German Shepherds. Maybe some of you have Pit Bulls. Maybe some of you have boxers. Ooh, here's a little tiny dog. Maybe some of you have a chihuahua, which is really tricky to spell, but there we go. And what's the last one I can think of? How about a poodle? Now, that is not all the breeds at all. That's just what's coming to my mind right away. So I think I can stop there because that's a pretty good list. I'm gonna move on to my next subtopic, small ideas about dogs. Okay. Another thing that I think about when I think about dogs is how dogs communicate. And actually today in class, me and some of my friends at school were talking about this, how dogs communicate. They actually do a lot of different things, don't they? One thing that they do is barking, right? That's one thing that we think of right away. But if you have a dog, you might notice that there's other things that they do. Now think, what do dogs do to show you they're happy? A lot of times they wag their tails, right? That's a way that they're communicating that they're happy. My dog Koa always wags his tail when it's time to play. So I know that he's happy, okay? Now another way that dogs communicate is by growling. What does growling do? Growling shows that they are not happy, right? It might mean they're angry. It might mean they're getting aggressive. Something is bothering them, right? Another way that dogs communicate is by whining. So sometimes a dog whines if they are hurt or sad or hungry. Sometimes they just whine because they're begging, right? So those are some ways that dogs communicate that I can think of. I'm trying to think if there's really any other. Oh, sometimes dogs put their tail between their legs 
And a lot of times that means that they're like scared or intimidated. Okay, so that's another way that dogs communicate. Okay, so right now I have two subtopics, dog breeds and how dogs communicate. Now I'm gonna go and do one more. I'm going to do a dog's body, a dog's body. So what are the features of a dog's body? So I know that they have four legs. I know that they have tails. I know that they have ears with great hearing, right? I know that they have a long, oh, <laughs> long tongue. I know that dogs have pads on their paws. My underline keeps coming on and I want it to stop. Paws, and then I'm gonna add uh, pads on paws, right? Dogs also have nails on their paws. A lot of times they have sharp teeth. Okay, so just in the time that we've done this mini lesson, I've already come up with three subtopics, okay? Now your job today is going to be to come up with some subtopics about your topic. So let's say that your topic, let's say you chose football because you've been playing football for years. Maybe one of your subtopics is like football teams. And then maybe another subtopic is like positions in football. Or let's say that your topic is, I'm trying to think of one I saw today. Oh, I saw one friend that was doing, her topic was clouds. Maybe one of her subtopics would be types of clouds. And another subtopic would be what clouds, what colors of clouds mean, could be. Um, let's say that your topic was Disney World. Maybe it's a place that you've been that you're writing about. Your topics could be rides at Disney World, um, characters at Disney World, places to eat at Disney World. Those are all subtopics that tell you about the big idea, which is Disney World. Okay, so today you're going to open up a Google Sheet that looks just like mine, but instead of my topic, you're going to do your topic. Now, if you chose dogs, you may do dogs. You just can't copy what Mrs. Thorsby wrote. You got to come up with some of your own ideas, okay? But I know a lot of us do know a lot about dogs. So if you do dogs, make sure you're writing some different things and you're not just copying this down. Also, if you're not an expert at dogs, don't do dogs, right? In fact, today in class, I saw some kids doing cats and that was really cool. All right, so you may head off and get started on your assignment. Remember, your big idea is your topic, in your boxes is your subtopics, and in your bullets is where you write more about your subtopic. All right, good luck.